today is the start of a beautiful journey. But let me throw it back to where this all began. I hopped over on the eBay one night. I was 100% completely sober too, to make sure this decision was one I wanted. And I ended up with this. Pierre, my Peugeot 405. It was an abandoned car from a fella that had died and it was then my mission to get it back on the road. And I did. I had a lot of fun with it and then I kind of left it to die myself. But now 2024, I think it is, came round. So I decided to charge the old battery up and we have to jump on in to the current day. Let's go, baby. Oh, we got lights. Come on, Pierre! Yes! Come on! Pierre lives! Pierre lives! This stinks as well, we live! Finn, go on. <laughs> I am buzzing! I can't believe it, I'm so happy. <laughs> this feels so disgusting. <laughs> Gross. Pierre the Peugeot's not dead, he's coming to France with me. We're gonna go and see some fucking French things. And maybe find a Belugerie. I think that's how you say it. Balloons, Rory. Gonna eat some French bread. Yeah, I am. The adventure starts, boys. The adventure freaking starts. This is gonna be so much fun. Oh my god. I wonder if it could pass an MOT like this. This suspension is so soft. Oh my god. These seats are so comfy as well. I wish I could take Finn, but uh, he can't travel, which is very irritating. Isn't it? Because you'd love France, wouldn't you? We'd eat so much bread. And cheese. Incredibly, it started no problem. Oh, I thought the engine was going to blow up or something, but hey, we're here and uh, hey, I found my Allen key. Ooh. I think we need to have a little look around the car, tell you guys what the plan is, and uh, yeah, I want to I wanna explain some stuff. So you've heard Pierre's story. You've heard him start again. I am so happy Pierre lives again. But what am I going to do with it? I mentioned a road trip, and I kind of sang a song, so I guess you know where we're going. But what we're going to do is we're going to take Pierre back to where he came from, basically. You dirty immigrant! It's really dirty and he's French, so it's not rude, I don't... It might be really rude, I don't know, I didn't mean it in a nasty way. But before I do absolutely anything, we need to have a look around this and see what is going to be done over the next couple of videos and then we can start progressing on it. I've bought it in the unit, technically I didn't really want to do it in here, but we've got some like tornado happening outside. So we're going to have to do it in here just for pure sound quality, which is cool. But anyway, the first port of call is clean this. It's actually got its own ecosystem growing on it now and it's <laughs> absolutely disgusting. I do not know what products to use on this. It is so bad. I've left this for about, I reckon it's been two, two and a half years since I last used it. So, and the last time I used it, I spilled gearbox oil in the boot and it's just hums. It stinks so, so bad. <sighs> So we're gonna have to give this a full, the best detail I've ever done in my entire life. We're gonna make sure we give this a huge detail. So if you're a bit of a car nerd that likes watching dirty cars not be dirty anymore, make sure you hit subscribe, this is gonna be sick. Next up, we need to make sure it's mechanically sound. I think I might give it a little service. I'm gonna go to a local motor factors and just buy all the service stuff, oil, etc., etc. It's a heavy old box, mate. Come on, Pierre. These tyres are really bad, so either way we're going to have to buy new tyres and or maybe look online for some new wheels, but I really wanted to keep the wheel trims, so we'll, we'll see. These tyres are old. How old are they? They should have a date on them, right? 8608. 
Does that mean anything? No, no way. No, no, that could be wrong. I don't know how to tell when the tyre's made. Forget that I even tried to do this bit, please. Please, please forget. Thanks. One of the oddest problems I've found with this is the boot won't open anymore. Now it would open when I used to have it. So I... <laughs> that needs to be out open because obviously that's where I spilt the gearbox oil. <laughs> so I need to get to that bit. So that's something else that we need to fix. And I worked out the, why the boot wouldn't open. Um, it was locked. <laughs> if you watched the last series of videos I did on this, I fixed the exhaust with a bean can. Now, I'm actually going to look at that in this video today because I want to make sure we get the exhaust sorted for an MOT. An MOT is a major part of this vehicle coming on a road trip with me. But we're not just going to take this on a road trip. I'm really only giving myself about eight days to sort this thing out, which uh, would be fine if I was here. So, I'm probably already back by the time you've seen this video. Um, I've tried to like have enough content bolstered on the channel while I'm away, so no one knows that I'm away, so you can't go and rob my house. But um, yeah, I need to figure everything I need on this car today and get it ordered tomorrow to try and have it here in time for Pierre's debut, baby. Because we're actually going to take this, well I say we as if I've got friends, I'm going to take this to a car show in the UK, and it's a YouTuber's car show, a YouTuber called Auto Alex. And I thought it'd be funny for him to see this if we can get one minute of his time at the event. Because he used to have a white Peugeot 405 estate that he ran on like chip oil, I think, or something. But I want to make this car excellent enough to go on a road trip. What better place to take it than Shedfest? Because this is, I mean, if, if they were given awards for the biggest sheds, I might be in for a chance. I can't believe how much I like this car. Never give cars names. <laughs> Now, this road trip is something I've been planning for a little while, like actually planning. The whole plan is we're gonna set challenges on this road trip, and there's gonna be a bunch of them, and we're gonna announce them in the actual challenge video, where we have to go to France, do a bunch of French shit, and if we complete that, we're then gonna start on this. Yep, for this to hit up the Nerlo Green, Pierre has to hit up France. And we have to complete every challenge set in the video. I can't wait, it's gonna be so much fun. I've already got it all pretty much planned out. The people I've told that I'm doing this have all said the same thing. You're taking that Peugeot to France. Yeah, and I'm taking it up to Leicester as well first. Leicester, so we're gonna go Leicester first. Leicester's a Leicester is further away from where I live than France is. There it is, people. That was my fix. Can you see that? That right there was a Heinz beans can. Oh boy, I had so much fun doing that. And it actually looks alright <laughs> still. Yeah, they ain't getting us to France. I don't want to spoil future videos, but look, look at the power of steering fluid. <laughs> should be grand, should be grand. We can just ignore, we can just ignore. Now, in the engine bay itself, it isn't it isn't that bad. It rusts at all, it isn't like kinda none of it. The only concern is how wet that all is so maybe we need a new rocker cover gasket maybe i'll see if they do one of those um i don't even know how they're held in on this but i will like i said i want to give it a full service it looks very disgusting there and i think shed fest will be a good little run out for it to see what we need to do before we go to france oh i'm so excited to eat some like hot bread and maybe some snails i'm not excited for that one but i, I might do it so there we have it people my amazing French work of art called Pierre. And for you beautiful people out there, please hit subscribe on the channel and leave a fat like on the video. I cannot wait to get stuck into this thing. Like, like legitimately, I'm so excited. The first thing we have to do is start giving it a big old deep clean. And that is all gonna be happening this week. I don't even think I need an exhaust. I feel like if I give it a clean in the service, which I'm gonna go and grab all the service parts probably tomorrow, then it means that we can get it booked in for an MOT, A A ASAP, and if it passes, then we're, we're fucking golden. If it doesn't pass, then we have, to, we have to get it done. So I'm hoping by Wednesday, Thursday this week, it will have been serviced, and it will have been uh, cleaned, and it will have been MOT'd. And if that is the case, 
we are absolutely golden. Please make sure you subscribe, hit the little notification bell. This is gonna be so much fun and I hope you guys will join in with me. And like I said, if we complete this, we then start on the MX-5 and the MX-5 starts snowballing everything. I cannot wait, I'm so excited. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video. Take it easy guys.